Welcome to a Beginner's Crafting Guide for Vanguard. You'll first want to find a crafting advisor in any major city to select your profession. I'm training in call. If you can't find the advisor, speak to a city guard for directions to a crafting instructor. You have three professions to choose from, artificer, blacksmith, and outfitter. Each profession has two specialties. As an artificer, you work with stone, wood, and gems, and can become a carpenter or a mineralogist. A blacksmith works primarily with metal, and can become an armorsmith or a weaponsmith. And an outfitter, who works with leather and cloth, can become a leather worker or a tailor. Carpenters can eventually learn to craft boats, bows, caster staves, and housing chests. Mineralogists can learn to craft houses, jewelry, and caster foci. Both crafters can make ranged ammunition as well. Armorsmiths will craft any heavy armor. Weaponsmiths will craft most weapons. Both can make harvesting and crafting tools, some arrows, and some pieces for houses and boats. In the outfitter profession, leather workers create medium armor, hand wrap weapons, and saddlebags. Tailors make light armor for various casters, cloaks, and inventory bags. Both crafters can create sails for boats and harvesting clothing. All armor makers get armor upgrade recipes, and outfitters get crafting upgrade recipes. Every profession makes various diplomacy gear and cards, as well as housing decorations. I'd like to eventually make boats, so I'll train in the artificer profession. The crafting advisor sends you to the master artificer, who then sends you to the crafting equipment supplier to get your tools and tool belt. To equip your tools, open your character sheet, click the crafting tab, drag the tool belt from your inventory to the tool belt slot, and place your tools inside the bag. You'll get a bind on equip warning, which means the tools cannot be sold or traded. Click Accept. Head back to your master professor, who will send you to the crafting utility supplier for some utilities and a 40-slot utility bag. Equip the bag and drag the utilities into it. Unlike tools, utilities are expendable and used up during the crafting process. The tutorial gives them for free, but in the future, you'll need to revisit the crafting utility supplier to restock them during crafting sessions. Once again, go back to the master professor. He will ask you to craft your first item. Before we do, let's look at all of the benches and workstations available here in Call. As an artificer, I will use the artificer shaping bench and the artificer sculpting table. You'll notice how every profession has a refining station and a finishing station. The refining station helps make base components, such as cloth and ingots. The finishing station uses those components to make finished items like bags and weapons. Assembly benches are used to combine materials from different trades, such as combining a sail and a mast into a functioning mast assembly. The quest to make my first crafted item requires a finishing station. Right-click the station, select Special Recipes, and select your skill. When you click Begin at the bottom, a crafting table setup window will allow you to place what components and utilities you need on the table. Beginning crafters have three spaces on the table. You'll get one more space at 100 skill, another at 200, and so on. Selecting an item will add it to the table if you have room. For now, I'll stick with one stack of solvent. Click Begin to start crafting. You'll notice the components you added to the table shown at the top. You'll see Grade here, where the item can range from Grade D to Grade A. This is also called the quality of the item. This is your progress bar. Action points are here. Every crafting action costs points. The trick to crafting is getting the highest grade of item you can before your action points run out. Notice the four sections, called stages, divided by circles. Imagine they are walls. Remember while you're crafting that stages cannot affect other stages. This will make more sense as we start to craft. Stage 1 simply places your raw materials, such as wood, on the table. It doesn't affect quality, progress, or action points, 
and doesn't use any of your utilities. There are two steps shown here for Stage 2. When I select the first step, I'm given one action. It shows how many action points are needed and if it's a progress or a quality action. Since it's a progress action, you'll see the bar move forward. Quality hasn't been affected. The progress bar has moved to the halfway point because step one of the stage has been completed. The action points have been reduced by 75. Utilities have not changed. The second step gives two possible actions. The first one costs 75 action points and gives moderate progress. The second action costs 100 action points and gives high quality. Either action will also take some utility away from your stack on the table. If I choose the progress one, my progress bar will move forward, but my quality will remain at D. If I choose the quality one, I can raise the grade higher. My goal is to raise quality as high as I can without using all of my action points, so I'll select the second action. Notice the quality increasing. When it reaches grade A, I'll select the progress action and move to the next stage. The action in stage 3 is a progress action. Selecting it moves the process into stage 4. Stage 4 has two actions. One costs zero action points, but you'll lose some quality. The other costs 100 action points and finishes the item with zero quality loss. Since I have 975 action points remaining, I'll choose the action that costs action points. Here's my grade A item. I can now turn it into the master professor. He'll give another quest that teaches about complications. Complications happen randomly during the crafting process and affect quality, progress, or effectiveness. They can also affect action points. This complication affects effectiveness. Effectiveness is how well you perform the action. Here, my effectiveness is fair. Effectiveness ranges from poor, fair, or moderate to good, great, or excellent. I have plenty of action points remaining, so I'll clear the complication. The next complication affects utility. Utility is represented by the bottle icon. Remember the walls I mentioned earlier? Anything done within the current walls will not affect anything outside of the walls. If the utility icon was outside of the walls, I could ignore it and leave it alone. If the complication happened to affect tools, I could also leave it alone. Stages cannot affect other stages. Since there is a utility icon in my current stage, I need to clear it. If I leave it alone, I'll lose an increased amount of action points and the chances of getting another complication is high. I clear the complication, finish the item, and turn it in. The next quest has you speak to the crafting advisor for some crafting clothing. You should reach level 2 in crafting or be close. Equip the clothing and head for the finishing taskmaster who will give you your first work order. Head to the finishing table to craft and turn the item in. The crafting advisor will send you to an assembly station to learn how to assemble a tool. When the tool is turned in, you should be level 3 or close to it. The final step of the tutorial sends you to your instructor to train some recipes. Congratulations! You are done with the tutorial. Now you can get work orders from Taskmasters to level up your skill. For further information, visit www.vanguardcrafters.com.